Hi, you guys. I am very excited to have Chelsea. Chelsea, Hi. welcome. Thank you so much, Anya. I'm Thanks. so excited to be here at Home Builder Tech. <laughs> I'm super excited to be here as well. So, um, Group 2 is yes. sponsoring this event. Yes, we are hosts of this event. Um, I'm really excited. I, whoa, I am the social media director at Group 2, and so I'm here at Home Builder Tech to talk a lot about social media. I'm doing a speaking engagement on SEO and blogging. I'm also doing a speaking engagement on um, speaking to different generations on social media because they all use it differently. So I'm really excited to talk to everyone about social media, but also learn about all of the AI and VR and all the different content and SEO uh, information that's being like said and delivered. It's, there's a plethora of information over these next two days. I know. I'm so excited. I literally cannot wait. Anytime somebody says tech, I'm like, yes! It's like, uh, I just love it. I think it's um, it's so exciting that the home building industry seems to have finally embraced yes, the tech. Absolutely. So it's really, really a great time to be here and I just can't wait to learn from the best and the best. So Thanks. for those of us who cannot be here, next Next year, you guys better be here. Next year. Next year. So, can you give us a couple of pointers on? You mentioned talking to different generations yep. on social media. Yeah. So, obviously, we know that millennials are, um, they grew up with yep. social media, they're native users, so to yeah. speak. So, um, how do we talk to millennials differently than we talk to, say, um, downsizers? Yeah. Uh, because when it comes to home preference, I find that both millennials and downsizers seem to have a lot of the same things that they actually want to see in the yeah. home, believe it or not. So, but how do we talk to them differently? If you could tell us like just a couple of quick points for- Couple of quick points. Okay, I'll talk about advertising really quickly. So millennials, like Anya said, I'm a millennial. We've grown up with social media in our everyday lives, and so we're used to it. We're so used to getting served ads every day. So if a home builder serves us an ad, we know what to expect. We know how to um, interact with it and click into it and go through to the website. Whereas a downsizer who they're in our um, presentation, we call them digital immigrants. Ah, and so I like we're social term. media immigrants. And so they're kind of just diving in, even though it's the fastest growing generation on social media right wow. now, they're just getting the hang of it. And so they don't necessarily know that if a retargeting ad comes up on their social media, they're like, whoa, oh my God. they read my mind. <laughs> How did they find me? So it's really important to be extremely transparent with the downsizing generation, uh, baby boomers, if you will, because they're they're not they're not sure that that what they're being served is authentic or honest or in their best interest. So as a home builder, you have to let them know that you're looking out for them and be totally clear with your messaging. Whereas with millennials, you can play around, mess around a little bit, have a little bit more fun with the messaging you put out there because they know you're serving them mm -hmm. and they, they understand how it works. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I've never heard the term immigrant for uh, for the digital world. So yeah. I like that a lot. All right. Well, I cannot wait to hear the full session. I I'll be reporting on <laughs> it. So you guys, I'll give you all the information you need to know. So, but next year, be here. Bye.